our last station is mathematics where we've added it all up together. We have our lemonade stand and our lemonade and our beautiful cups and we can pay for a delicious glass of lemonade. Now I have a glass of lemonade. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Leah. Finn, may I buy some fizzy lemonade? I love when kids have lemonade stands. Good. One glass for all of us, right? Yeah. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. oh, Thank you, guys. Good. Great job. <laughs> So Amber and Emily, the two of you have been involved with Kids Discovery Factory now for 10 years and eight years respectively, is that right? That's correct. And you've been doing that on a volunteer basis. What has kept you here? What's been your passion? So I got involved in this project soon after relocating to Batesville. And what I realized as a young mom at the time was that we were really lacking in things to do uh, with our kids. And that was a primary driver for getting involved. But the longer I've been involved, the more I've realized the huge number of benefits that this project really brings to the community. And being involved in something so important to the community is really what drives me. Um, so for the first nine years, I was honored to be part of the volunteer board of directors. And then just over a year ago, in January of 2020, I took on a staff role as the executive director. And very similar to Amber, um, I joined the, the board of directors shortly after relocating to Batesville and uh, also a young mom. Um, but my background is in early childhood education and so I'm very, very passionate about play-based opportunities um, within the community and within the schools and this really checked all the boxes for me. You know, I really want this facility to be here so that my kids can come and play and explore and learn. And um, I have found that communities that have um, children's museums or other organizations that invest in their young people um, really flourish because those young people, they feel seen, they feel valued, um, and then they feel a sense of pride in their own community and they wanna stay and they wanna have their family stay and grow up here. And you know, that's important to me. I, I love this region. I want to see it do well, and I want to see the kids in this region do well. So for what advice would you give to another young lady or another woman in Ripley County who has a passion and maybe things aren't going as quickly as they would like? What would be your word of advice? My advice would just be to stick with it. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. And a lot of the reason, honestly, these projects take so long is because they're so important and it's important to do it right and to do it well and to do it in a way that's sustainable and is gonna be here year after year to last. Um, so don't give up, stick with it and, and keep going. And if it's something you're passionate about, I mean, it doesn't feel like it's been eight years, you know? Like it, it feels, it's been such a fun journey and it's something that we cared so much about. Um, that, you know, I, I signed up to be a part of it for the long run, you know, for as long as I'm here, I want to be a part of Case Discovery Factory. Well, the Ripley County Community Foundation and the members of the Women's Giving Circle greatly appreciate that the two of you shared your story with us. And thank you kids for showing us how to make lemonade the Kids Discovery Factory way.